So the team uh, is based in Paris at the French Ministry of Health and we are working on the integration plan and sustainability strategy of the joint action and that means that we want actually the outputs of the joint action to be continued after the joint action ends and we want things to be implemented in practice at all levels whether it's regional, national or European. As a member of the Ministry of Health in France, I'm in charge of uh, EU affairs. So I'm both into technical aspects, because I come from the research field, but also into politics. And we need politics to support the Chamra and its future. Just one example, Finland is currently the president of the Council of the European Union. And the sentence they have chosen, you know, to catch up the attention of their presidency is uh, economy of well-being. Uh, it doesn't mean that economy has to dictate everything. On the contrary, it means that well-being uh, and collective engagement for well-being uh, will support growth, uh, but also happiness and well-being of each individual, each company, etc. I say that because if big pharma, for instance, consider that it's just an history, uh, a story of having more incentive and money that will not be sufficient. They have also to understand they need healthy staff, healthy families uh, to develop their activities. We understand their commercial uh, objectives, but they are also part of this collective engagement and, and the situation uh, will impact anyway uh, their activities and the market, so they should be engaged and not only for commercial uh, reasons. A contribution to yesterday's General Assembly was to present our first thoughts on this plan, actually integration and sustainability plan, that we built with all work package leaders and we presented it actually to get the feedback of member states, so the advisory committee and all stakeholders to help us refine that plan. I was amazed at how much we have achieved in such a short time. I think we can be proud of what we have done together. And then what really strikes me is the true mix of stakeholders, because I think we bridge the gap between the policy makers and the professionals, and we bridge the gap between the human side and the animal side. Stakeholders are all these uh, organizations from the civil society uh, that are not directly the authorities in the member states but are so important uh, to support our activities. They represent the civil societies, uh, they can represent the industry sometimes, the patient association, any kind of uh, professional association, nurses, GPs, uh, whatsoever. And, uh, the message uh, we pass on and that we can hear also from these partners uh, is really that they have to play a key role uh, in our um, activities and they are really to be involved uh, in uh, what we are doing. We need them, they need us. Uh, we've heard several views, they have their own positions and logics, of course. Uh, we believe within the Janrai we can help them to move to new position. That's the more important thing. New position that will support uh, the collective interests uh, and uh, as a collective responsibilities, we all have together to fight against antimicrobial resistance and hospital acquire or healthcare acquire infections. <laughs> I think that we will have moved significantly the AMR agenda at EU level and I hope also in each member state. And also I think, I hope at least, that um, working in networks and sharing experiences will become a natural for all the stakeholders and the member states that are involved in the transaction.